गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम यूरीवन सभी बच्चों का फिर एक बार स्वागत है हमने ऑलरेडी पी एन जंक्शन डायोड ये एक्सप्लेन परफॉर्म किया है इसने भी देखा नहीं है उसे इस वीडियो में हम लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन में देने वाले आज हम इस वीडियो में पी एन जंक्शन डायोड का ग्राफ उसके कैरेक्टर्स कर कैसा ड्रा करना है ये देखेंगे उसके साथ ही उसके डी और ए सी किए जाते वो हम देखेंगे पी एन जंक्शन डायोड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स means its graph for that we must draw the graph of voltage across pn junction diode along x axis because it is independent quantity and current pass through the diode must be shown along the y axis that means uh, we draw the graph in first quarter which has the positive value v and current is also the positive value along the y axis current is in a milliampere and voltage is in a volt their readings are already shown on white board or you can parallelly see the readings on the board now first of all what to do with this characteristics first take a graph it is not a graph paper i just give you the rough idea to do that parallelly you can see the graph on the black board or uh, on the white board here 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 you have to consider that this is a graph. If this is a graph paper, we first write the heading using pencil. Which two physical quantities are here in this characteristic curve? One is electric potential across the pn junction diode. Second is electric current passing through the diode. Electric potential along the x-axis and electric current along the y-axis. now we can check uh, the expansion our of our readings it is found that our uh, voltage is below 1 volt that means uh, um, below 1 volt it shows lot of current which sufficient to draw the graph so that our expansion of reading along x axis must be up to the 1 volts that means we have to choose the scale such that which can be spread along the x axis so that it is sufficient to take 2 cm for 0.1 volt so that along x axis scale is 2 cm is equal to 0.1 volt and while uh, along y axis we see that our maximum reading is out around 15 milliampere so that for 1 cm we take 1 milliampere that means current in milliampere and potential v Along the uh, across the pn junction diode is in volt. Y axis one centimeter is equal to one milliampere. This is our scale. Now we can take the first reading. It is it is voltage point one volt and current is zero. Point one volt current is zero. This is our first point. Second reading we can see that second reading is also point two volt and current is again zero so that 0.2 volt current is again zero 0.3 volt we can see that once again current will not flow uh, pass through the diode so that our third point is also along x axis on the x axis particularly 0.4 no current we found in a milliampere so that our uh, fourth ring is also on the x axis we can see now the for the point 5 volt we have some current that is 1 milliampere of current so that for point point 5 volt current is 1 milliampere so on the graph paper it is very easy to find that point suppose that this point is right here this point represents point 5 volt along x axis and 1 um, milliampere along y axis this point is exactly at that situation now next reading is 0.6 is a voltage and current is 6.25 0.6 and 6.25 is jaha ek dusre ko cross karenge 6 and 6.25 6 and 6.25 this point is right here 
you can parallelize on the graph paper clearly shown on that graph paper here is just uh, adjustment to show you how this graph to be drawn and how the calculations are to be there now we have the last point that is point 0.7 point 0.7 we have the ring 15 milli ampere point 0.7 and 15 milli ampere cross each other at the point that point is our last point now what can we do we sharply joined all these points and which is characteristics curve of pn junction diode we can sharply join this uh, more sharply you can continuous continuous line must be there that means in this way this is the characteristic curve of pn junction diode now what is our aim aim is to find out dc and ac resistance of this pn junction diode that means first aim rdc to find out this dc resistance we have to choose one point which is completely on the turn suppose that this is the graph and let uh, this turn is right here uh, i just choose this point this point let this point p what is this point p its x component is 5.5 and its y component is 3 milli ampere mind you that means 5.5 3 milli ampere this is the point exactly on the turn formula for dc resistance is v p upon ip P indicates particular point on the turn. Particular point on the turn. Now we can calculate VP and IP. VP is 5.5. 5.5 volt. And IP is 3 milliampere. We must have to convert it into the ampere. Because ampere is a SI unit. Milliampere is not a SI unit. Voltage is a SI unit. So that 3 into 10 raised to minus 3 ampere and calculation can be made 5.5 upon 3 into 10 raised to 3 2 3 into 10 raised to plus 3 now that means rdc is equal to rdc is equal to 1830.00 here is a point ohm or you can also write this value also rdc this is also correct representation both values indicate the dc resistance of the diode now ac resistance to find out the ac resistance we must know the slope of the tangent which is drawn at any point on the turn that means we have to draw the tangent now uh, tangent is not the line which is drawn at any point and we take the any two points and so on and so it's not like that suppose that this is the one point where we want tangent for that we consider this small section of this graph suppose it is to be straight line and perpendicular line drawn to it using uh, your scale or using your angle mapping equipment draw perpendicular line to this dotted line this dotted line is perpendicular to this small section around the point uh, now perpendicular to this line at this point indicates the tangent This is the line. This is the tangent. Tangent to that point. Now our aim is to find out first slope. 
and then bring out AC uh, resistance of the diode. For that, we have to choose the two points uh, on that tangent such that they can be useful to bring out the slope. Suppose that here is one point and another point is, uh, suppose that this is one point. I just consider this point right here and another point, suppose that another point is right here. When we take the associated point along the y-axis, it is equal to four, uh, nearly equal to 4. This, uh, this is the averaging. I am just going to match with the graph which is shown you on the graph paper. Generally, you can able to see it. It is equal to, that means this point is equal to 0.625. And here is 4. This point you can say that x1, y1. And now another point around point 7 and let it be around the point 7. And that point here is around 6. That means our point is 0 0.7 and 6 milliampere. Say this point is x2, y2. Now slope, you know slope is y2 minus y1 uh, upon x2 minus x1. Now we are using this equation directly in, in the calculations of AC resistance. Right here. RAC is equal to, RAC is equal to 1 upon slope. What is the slope? Slope is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. That means RAC is equal to x2 minus x1 upon y2 minus y1. x2 minus x1 upon y2 minus y1. That means RAC is equal to x2 has the value, y7, x2 has the value point, point 0.7 minus x1 has the value point 0.625 upon y2, y2 has the value 6 and y1 has the value 4, 4, 6. Here, one thing is important. Here, 6 and 4 are in milliampere. So that we have to convert them in ampere by multiplying 10 raised to minus 3. That means we have 0 0.375 upon 2 into 10 raised to minus 3, 10 raised to minus 3. 10 raised to minus 3, here it get converted to the numerator 10 raised to plus 3. That means RAC is, is equal to 375 upon 2. That is 1, 8, 7, 1, 8, 7, point 5 ohm. This is the value of RAC. 187.5 ohm according to this characteristics curve. That means now we have the two values RBC and RAC. Here one thing is very important. Diode is a electronic device whose resistance will not stable. Its resistance changes from infinity to very small value. That's why very important. In many instruments, its resistance is not constant. Its resistance changes according to the semiconductor structure. And that means its conductivity continuously changes. That's why its resistivity also continuously changes. It is its uh, property. That's why it is so useful. Now we have to write the result. RDC, RDC, 
you must write dc resistance of the semiconductor diode is r dc is equal to 1830 ohm and ac resistance of the semiconductor diode is you must write this word r ac is equal to 187.5 ohm here it is very clear that c resistance is small compared to the dc resistance it is also its property uh, after that you must have to write the precautions what is the precautions precaution all connection must be tight okay second to avoid overheating please start the instrument start the instrument when your connection is proper and you ready to take the reading third precaution you must avoid the voltage above the breakdown voltage suppose that diode has given the voltage breakdown voltage is about suppose that it is breakdown voltage is 20 volt that's means your provided voltage must not be 20 volt otherwise it completely uh, get damaged it is not useful as a diode that's means you must uh, take uh, use the limit of its maximum uh, voltage which can be used across it it is also its precaution uh, you can understand i think you can understand better this experiment please write it accordingly thanks to see this uh, video up to the end once again to see the next few videos you subscribe this channel press bell icon button and thanks to see the video up to the end